Hey guys, Professor Bill, Comic Book University, Return of Wolverine, issue number four of, I believe, five. Okay, let's get started on this book right away. Well, you know, after I find the stuff, when I get past all the Stanley tribute stuff. All right, so chapter four, Judgment. Writer, Charles Soule. Artist, Declan Shalvey. Color artist, Laura Martin. And letterer, VCs Joe Sabino. The main cover artists are Steve McNiven and Sonny Ho, and there's a bunch of variant cover artists. God bless y'all. God bless y'all. All right. So Wolverine is in bed after having killed all of the X-Men. Remember the previous issue, he had to fight off the X-Men and he learned different tactical ways to take out certain of the characters like Nightcrawler. That was the absolute freaking hands down best. Um, but Iceman, he wasn't able to take down on his own, not with tactics because Iceman was just way too powerful, you know? Um, what do you call it? The, um, the, the Berserker side of Wolverine was unlocked in that issue. And in this issue, we see that he was able to eviscerate Bobby. That's fine. Bobby, when is he, when he's in his ice form, he's Omega level for a reason. You can't kill him. Bobby is essentially immortal in his ice form. Excuse me. Uh, even if you melt him, eventually he'll get cold, right? He'll be back. So the idea here, and plus he could probably absorb all that heat. <laughs> this one just, it took him for a bit of a surprise, the hot claws. Anyway, we also learn what the hot claws are in this. We also learn who Anna actually is. Um, yeah, it didn't surprise me at all. I expected this since issue one or two. Uh, go back and check out those reviews. I talked about it fairly extensively. So this wasn't really much of a surprise. Um, in the end, Wolverine's got to go and meet her. Now, where he's got to meet her is, of course, not said explicitly, but when you see the mode of transportation he has to get to get to her, that's a little bit like, oh, where are they going to go in this next and final issue? So I'm looking forward to this. And of course, uh, the regular Wolverine series should begin after this issue. The next issue is complete. And of course, Wolverine will also be apparently appearing in the um, Uncanny X-Men books. I think issue number 12, along with uh, Scott Summers. And I look forward to seeing these two working together. I look forward to seeing these two um, not getting along. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Uh, yeah, that's... Hopefully it's going to feel like the old days, or at least around the original Astonishing X-Men days. I look forward to that. Uh, this book in and of itself, it didn't do a lot for me. You know, there were certainly some fun moments in here, but I don't think there were enough moments in here that were so great that you're just going to be like, all right, I got to get this book. You know, I got to go and collect the other books. No, if you haven't been collecting this book, I think you're fine. I think that you're fine. No other door is, you know, is even mentioned, least off actually visited or unlocked, you know, inside of his brain. And I feel like that's just such a shame. I think that one of the best parts of this title could have been every issue, one more door gets unlocked. Just one more. God, that would have been amazing. And just ball dropped, opportunity wasted. Oh, well. Anyway, guys, that's going to be it for me. Professor Bill, Comic Book University. Class dismissed.